back in South Carolina today. He headed to Palmetto Armory in Greenville to talk about the Second Amendment, and he shot some guns there. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell was in the shooting range. Senator Graham says he owns an AR-15. He also doubled down on comments that embroiled him in a firestorm of controversy earlier this week. He also took the chance to hit the firing range. Senator Lindsey Graham fired off shots at Palmetto Armory Thursday. He also fired off his reasons for supporting the Second Amendment. The bottom line is self-defense is one of the fundamental rights associated with the Second Amendment. Faced with two mass shootings in a week at the end of March, President Biden called for assault weapons to be banned and for background check loopholes to be closed. House Democrats passed two bills that aim to apply background checks to all gun buyers. The reason we're having this conversation is that the uh, U.S. House in Democratic hands passed a couple of background check bills that I think go too far. Senator Graham says he is willing to expand background checks in what he calls a common sense way, suggesting he's open to closing the loophole that allows people to buy guns at gun shows without background checks. But he's not sure about Democrats' proposal to require background checks for gun sales among private citizens. Senator Graham made headlines recently after saying on national TV that if police can't reach him during a natural disaster in South Carolina, quote, my house will be the last one that the gang will come to because I can defend myself. He reiterated that position again here today, mentioning he couldn't leave his neighborhood for a day after a tornado hit Seneca last year. Why would anybody need to own an AR-15? If there is a breakdown of law and order, and that can happen, we've seen it happen in our major cities. Remember Hugo, where people were isolated for days? Remember Katrina? South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson was also here today, shooting some guns and touting his support for the Second Amendment right as well. In Greenville and Maxwell, 7 News. Today, President Biden hosted his first.